Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got a Hermes rocket on the bench here this morning. And the story is this uh, original owner, grandmother, tried to put a ribbon on this machine. And it won't do a uh, upper case. So when I... I thought it was just going to be the ribbon wasn't in, right? They brought it in. No, it's got a mechanical failure. So lower case, upper case, the carriage just won't lift high enough to do and when I do press it harder it locks the machine up it doesn't space it spaces in lowercase try to hit shift and it jams up and I looked at this while they waited couldn't figure it out so we're gonna take it apart and see if we can figure it out on camera here this morning it's gonna be my video repair so I did look in here and look for something mechanical, you know, maybe with the ribbon lift here. I couldn't see anything. I went back through the carriage, so I'm going to just go ahead and pull this rear cover off here to start with. I didn't see anything binding. You know, now that I look at that screw there, this machine's never been serviced. These screws are completely unmolested. Um, I've seen a lot of rockets and babies that show signs of, uh, yeah, these screws, they're just, they've never been loosened, I don't think. Um, I, I don't think, they look pretty, pretty unmolested back here too, see that screw just looks perfect, and it's tight. Had a factory click, I don't think this has ever been taken off dated this machine to 1961 so let's just try back here and see if we can see something and that didn't really reveal much let's see no it's still binding you can feel it right in the it moves a little more if you push it harder but it's still stuck That's really strange. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the main cover off here. This comes off pretty, pretty easy. One good thing about these, is they, they disassemble really, really easy. I was gonna pre-disassemble this for the camera, but. Figured I'd do the whole thing because you never know, maybe just taking the case off it will fix it. Sometimes I've seen the, the case just be interfering for some reason. So let's see. I don't think so in this case. This, no, it's still doing it. So I thought maybe that the bottom panel here was bent. In, you know, maybe collapsed or something. You know, I thought maybe this was collapsed here, but it's it's straight. Well, let's pull this guy out of here. Oh my, I see the problem already. Right there. How much you want to bet? This little clear piece, whatever this is, is the problem. That's right where the shift pivots back here. How much you want to bet that that was it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this back in my case and try it. How much you want to bet that was it? Yeah, that's it. I can already feel it. Wow, just a little piece of debris. There it goes. Uppercase facing. Where the heck was that rubbing on back here? So it was right down in this corner. Huh. I don't even see what it was touching. But that definitely fixed it. How weird is that? A 
Well, the ribbon's not in there right, so. Now we gotta straighten out the ribbon, but. But that is, that is the reason. I believe that little piece was just in the wrong spot. I don't know what this is. Okay. Now I'm going to do a clean the service. This thing uh, smelled like WD-40 when I opened the case up. So I have a feeling they sprayed this segment here. I'm going to flush that anyhow and clean the type and clean the roller. And and uh, give it a clean service, even though that was a pretty easy repair. I didn't think it was going to be anything too serious. All right, you never know what you're going to find. Phoenix typewriter, good day.